our I want the world to know that they stole, they hijacked the Jewish identity, the Star of David, our name. They used to call it the State of Israel. They stole all of our Judaism simply to legitimize, supposedly, the takeover of the land from the Palestinian people. They waved the Bible as a deed to the land, when in truth, around the world, every true God-fearing Jew, every rabbinical authority, from the day of its inception of Zionism, stood in opposition, in vociferous, vehement opposition, stating that we are forbidden as a Jewish people to steal the land from another people, to oppress another people, we're forbidden, according to the teachings of the Torah, to rebel against God, to have our own entity, our own sovereignty, even in an uninhabited land, let alone where it's inhabited by a people and you're stealing and oppressing them. We're forbidden the concept of transforming Judaism from this subservience to God, uh, uh, a bond with God, a humbleness to God, a spirituality into a, a total a transformation into materialism, into a nationalism, selfish nationalism, to take a land. This is all uprooting the Judaism of godliness into uh, taking God out of the equation, making a new concept and yet using our name, using Judaism, this covenant that Jews had with God, this holy covenant of thousands of years. We stand up and state vehemently that this is a rebellion against God. They've stolen Judaism, they've stolen our identity. They have no right to speak in the name of Jews. We plead and we pray to the Almighty for the speedy and total dismantlement and peaceful dismantlement of this entire rogue, illegitimate state of Israel, the concept of Zionism, the return to the, the rightful owners, the Palestinian people, that they should have their self-respect and land so we could coexist. Jews, Muslims, and Christians, this was never a religious conflict. We were always living together in all the Arab and Muslim lands. And we, as a Jew, we are required to show our gratefulness for these people of these lands, the, 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 of the Muslim and Arab lands, for their exemplary hospitality and friendship that they've professed, they've given to the Jews. We do want to show this. We pray to the God and we urge everybody to pray for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement. And we pray to the Muslim, that the Muslim and Arab people should understand not to confuse the two and don't call it a Jewish state. Don't call it the state of Israel, the Jews, the Jews, the Jewish state because you're falling into the trap that they should be able to accuse you of being anti-Semitic. This is Zionism, a Zionist state, the state of Israel. They don't represent Judaism and they have no right to speak in the voice of Jews. And hundreds of thousands of Jews around the world, whether it's in Jerusalem, whether it's in um, Al-Quds, whether it's in New York here, there's the Jews who are true to Judaism. The more the religious area you'll find, they speak up, they are totally opposed to the state and they demonstrate against the state of Israel and we uh, we feel and hurt for the Palestinian people again we pray for the day when the state will be a thing of the past that we can live in peace and we pray ultimately for the day when humanity all will recognize the one God and we can serve God in harmony amen thank you it's just the truth <laughs> Lebanon ah we were in Lebanon we went to visit Sabra Shaltur yes. to feel to feel a little bit the suffering of the Palestinian people. We cried there, we went and visited the graves, the martyrs, a certain um, um, area over there. We went, we visited al -Qiyam, which they destroyed the Zionists, that there shouldn't be any remnants of what they've done. But we went to feel and to look at how the Muslim and the Arab people, the people of Lebanon, how, how they were mistreated, how they were tortured, and all, unfortunately, in our name, in the name of Judaism, as if we are responsible, God forbid, for the torture of these such, such good people.